Broadcasting live from Haven Conference 2022 in Atlanta, it's time for Organization Conversation. Brought to you by Wall Control Storage Systems. Wall Control gives you the storage and organization you crave. Welcome back to Organization Conversation, everyone. I am Richard, and I am here with Kristen. How are you doing, Kristen? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. We're at Haven Conference, and um, yeah, just having a great time. How's it been so far for you? Really great. Yeah, I just ended up uh, attending the time management panel. I was on the speaker list, and all the questions about how to get organized and in your business and kind of keep on top of all the things that we got going on. That's uh, perfect. Yeah, it was pretty great. Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, obviously, wall control is all about organization, but, you know, we... We love organization top to bottom and time management and even, you know, organizing your business top to bottom, super important. So yeah, how did that, how'd the panel go? And before we get going too far, let everybody know your own channels and kind of a little bit about your background and what brought you to Haven at, you know, in your own brand. Okay. I am everywhere at my home, your home. People always think I'm saying uh, my home, your home, which might've been cool, but it's yeah. <laughs> my home, your home. I like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, I focus on helping um, others become confident DIY decorators. Um, I've been deemed by friends as the home project hype girl. You know, I'm always awesome. in your corner kind of a thing. Yeah. Like you can do it. Just yeah. grab the drill and give it a shot. Totally. Yeah. yeah in, in project and in business. So it's, uh, it's been kind of a fun space for me, but um I basically got into the time management stuff because I love organization so much. I have two kids under two, and um, I just basically had my business kind of running on autopilot for a little bit while I was on maternity leave because I have a yeah. six-month-old. And Well, you have to be organized to do that. That's, yes. I mean, we're actually expecting our first right now, and my wife, she's a, she operates her own business, and it's like, yeah, getting ready for that, the amount of effort that goes into setting it up so you can step away for a minute and, you know, do some life things. Totally. So, yeah. And we were very focused on like automation. So I use Trello a lot. Um, okay. you know, the, I was talking about digital tools was my section of the thing. And oh, cool. it's kind of like, you know, it's only as good as your system. So, you yes. know, you got to have a system in place. So how do you actually use the tool to, and it's the same when you're talking about organizing your house, like you can have yeah. all the tools in the world, but you got to kind of know, you know, where you're going to put stuff and how it's going to work and is it going to be accessible and, you know, your workflows on all that kind of thing. So yeah, it was a very fun. A lot of great questions. Yeah, I bet so. I wish I'd have gone to that. Actually, that would have been pretty helpful for me. So I would have. I'm sure I would have had a lot of takeaways. So, <laughs> so you you were on the panel. Um, so obviously you knew that going in. Is there? Um, did you have any objectives? You know, outside of you giving to the community, anything you came here to learn? Like any classes that you had on your agenda when you got here, you wanted to dive deeper into. We talked to people who, you know, went to you know YouTube classes, Instagram, anything like that that you you had on your agenda to kind of expand your knowledge. Yeah. As a former math teacher, all the analytical stuff is fun for me. So, yeah. you know, um, I think the next one I'm going to is the Instagram analytics. Uh, that would be good. I would like that one as well. Dive yeah. in deep, you yeah. know, in the, in the background kind of, you know, seeing what you see, but truly the best part about being here is meeting all new people. It's, yeah. you find that there's so many people that you had no idea are basically in your exact same position and you can relate and you don't have to explain what you do for a living. Like people yeah. actually understand, you know, what it is you do. And I've made so many great connections so far. And, um, we've been adding people to our, like the close friends group on my Instagram to like yeah. talk organization, productivity, time management. Awesome. And it's been so fun. So that's so cool. That's a really good point too, that like here you don't have to, there's, you can skip all the background and you can really get into like what you're doing, you know, mm -hmm, like totally. you don't have to try to conceptualize something for somebody yeah. and you can, you talk with people who are exactly where you're at, people who are where you're wanting to go, people who are where you've been and everybody can, you know, symbiotically learn from each other. Totally. And this has been like, I've decided, so since I had a, um, you know, my six month old, it's taken a, a little bit to get back into it. So I've mm. deemed this my kickoff. This is like my Kickstarter into, you know, back into my projects, back into what I love and yeah. kind of getting it all straight. But having a system in place, like I was able to kind of automate a lot of it on the way. And so organization is like my favorite thing, but but it, this, this conference is great. Yeah, I bet. And I bet a lot of people had a lot of takeaways from you from that from that panel. Because, again, the, it's easy to get stuck paying attention to just, like, the craft and the art of it and really the fun stuff. And it's like if, if you learn how to do that other piece of it, that's where you really take off, in my opinion, you know? Yeah, well, the creative side. So, I mean, I feel like we all have all these ideas, but now what do you do with them, uh -huh. you know, to make sure you're actually getting your stuff out there and yeah. kind of understanding you know, what your workflow is, what, what works for you, how you get from point A to point B while also still providing so much value for everybody. Yeah. And, you know, so yeah. what did your background look like going into DIY? And then when did you realize, Oh, I need systems in place to like automate this bit of it? You know, you, 
because quickly your time becomes only doing with that stuff and yeah. it takes away from the the actual reason you got started so how was that journey for you so my i would like to say that my grandpa was diy before diy was cool uh -huh. and it was like out of necessity not necessarily for fun yeah. and so he kind of taught me a lot of things like my first floor plans we did in third grade you know he showed me how to do all that kind of stuff and i actually went to school for architectural engineering before switching to math and oh, okay actually was a high school math teacher for a long time gotcha and, you know that is seriously analytical so the creative side was kind of like i always loved things about home and um, so that got me into the DIY space and, you know, you start creating and it's, it's, you know, just keeps yeah. the, it feeds itself, you know, you want to create more and more and more. And so I ended up starting the blog kind of on a whim and it was fun to, for me to like dive deep into the tech stuff behind the scenes. Cause yeah. like who knew all this stuff goes into all of this. Yeah. And so, um, you know, showcasing a lot of how to's and tutorials was fun because I like, my mom was English, so I enjoy the writing side of things, but I also really love like the tech yeah, and the analytical, side, yeah. and then you get the creative side going with your projects, and just being able to share with people and help people and get the feedback from everybody, you know, like how it's impacting other people, and I think the DIY space, you know, maybe we don't know what we're doing, we're just a couple of steps ahead, but it's also really refreshing to know that it is, po you know, it is possible to learn as you go, and yeah help people yeah so what it, what do you specialize in if, if you have a specialization in the DIY space like what what's your what's your bread and butter so to speak so my biggest thing is I love paint projects which is hysterical because I actually hate painting but I love <laughs> what paint can do and yeah. it's on such on the cheap you know it's yeah. like so I have done I have found wallpaper I love and have stenciled it instead or oh, I have gotcha. uh, found a rug I really like that didn't go in the room so I decided I would paint it on the wall instead wow. the pattern like yeah you know things like that or, or like spray I spray painted countertops I've spray painted and it's faucets I've spray painted you know like yeah. I like challenging that's myself that's like super creative too that's very unique like I bet yeah I mean go go check out uh, her, uh, her feed because it's got to be amazing with all this different stuff yeah yeah it's cool and it's so cost effective so yeah. like my husband he's like no you know I'm not going to pay for anybody to do it but also I'm not going to do it myself and I'm like yeah. well dang it I really would like something to be nice here you exactly know? <laughs> so kind yeah. of a little bit by necessity but more for fun too yeah very cool so any any cool upcoming projects you have on the on the agenda or have already started so garage organization oh very is nice yeah. literally my it, and I decided that coming out of maternity leave it might be a little too daunting to jump straight ahead but I, yeah. I it's brewing in the back of my mind so crazily um, I have this reel on my feet where it's like boxes everywhere and like things everywhere yeah. and it's like my husband's like if we could change anything we have to change this garage it doesn't function I'm like preach you know, yeah. that's exactly uh -huh. where we're going next but I think I might try to do a few more paint projects on the way like um, hallway projects and just yeah. kind of spicing up a little bit to get myself back into kind of diving deep but it's I think awesome. it's gonna be fun yeah well we're we're here for you when the garage comes around yeah, so, for yeah sure. that'll be awesome <laughs> well so cool well uh thanks for sitting down with us Absolutely. um and if yeah if you don't mind give our listeners again where they can find you website handle all that sure I'm at myhomierhome.com and then every social channel at myhomierhome awesome well thanks for coming on Kristen it's been fun absolutely thanks thank you for joining us Organization Conversation is brought to you by Wall Control, a family-owned and operated producer of best-in-class wall-mounted organizers for your home or business, made right here in the USA. To learn more, go to wallcontrol.com.